Encore, we at 570 Rundle Road in Bowmanville. This is our Thursday edition of our Live at 5. Today we have a Jayco Eagle 280 RS OK. The thing I like about this one is the little buttons here, you can activate and light up the front of the trailer. It makes it look really cool. Um, you can find your trailer at night, stands out from everybody else, looks different. Have one set on, have both sets on, have none on. It's your choice, whatever you want to do. Beautiful trailer, it has 30 pounders underneath here, power tongue jack. And this too is a spot for a generator if you want to put one on there. So it can be uh, outfitted with a generator prep or just have extra storage space for it, whatever you like. Really cool, up front is a connection for your water. So if you wanted to have an outdoor shower or a sprayer, it's right there. Inside here, cavernous storage up front. Um, battery disconnect in there, you've got a tire pressure gauge. Um, lights, yeah, it's a great little, great storage space here. We got a spot here for the spare tire. You put the crank in there. You use the same crank as you do for your stabilizer jacks. Oh, and by the way, this one comes with, or has been optioned with, electric stabilizer jacks. I don't know if you can see them down there, Alex, the uh, PSX ones there. So they're all down by power. Outdoor speakers down here in the valence. And then you may or may not know what a J port is. What that is, is inside there, there's like a two inch receiver. And what goes into there is this two inch receiver and a little tabletop that a uh, blackstone griddle will go on top. So it's actually kind of a great way to cook outside. Coming back, we've got our slide and we have the outdoor kitchen. So you got your cooking griddle up there beside the stairs. You've got your fridge here. You've got a tray or a drawer to put in whatever you want um, that keeps it out of the elements. In here, you can put your coffee maker, you can put your blender, you can put your mixer, whatever you want to have outside. So it's actually a really cool use of the spaces in there. I love it that they've separated the stove top from this because there's so much more they can use that space for right now. And it's kind of a rain cover underneath the awning. So it's a double rain cover. Uh, one other thing I like to show here, We've got an accessory receiver hitch on the back. So if you needed to put bicycles or something on the back or do something, you can do that, so which is pretty awesome. Stairs to go up on the roof. Roof will hold 4,500 pounds. I'll just shut this so you don't walk into the house. I don't think you're that tall, but you're still tall. <laughs> you're taller than me, so I'm not saying much. So there's the 280 RS OK. And I don't know if you saw it in the window there, but we are at 222 bi-weekly for this unit. So that is 222 bi-weekly or 59.9. Fly inside. You'll be blown away by the interior of this unit. And if standing from the vantage point that I am here, looking towards the stove and the microwave, you've got a residential style microwave with an integrated uh, vent hood on it. You have a nice size stove and an oven on there. The stove top actually flips up. It's probably like your regular ones that you have or you've seen before, they flip back. And you have your three burner stove here. When this comes back down, it's nice extra storage space. A thing that I always found really cool is back here. You see slots and they're designed for putting your knives in there. So it's like a, a nice butcher's block in the back. If you didn't know, you just think it was like ventilation grills or something like that. But yeah, no, it's an actual butcher's block, which is kind of cool. This guy here, um, you can adapt a Furion, uh, it's like a Bluetooth speaker slash flashlight that you can have that goes on there. It's an accessory that you can buy. There's a plug-in or a, a charging station here for it. There's also an, an additional charging station, station in the outdoor kitchen. We got nice drying racks, bamboo cutting board. You have the, the flexible kitchen sink faucet. <laughs> uh, radio is hidden behind this, so you've got a full function radio, got all sorts of stuff on it. Zone 1, Zone 2, Bluetooth, whatever you want to do. Um, television, pretty cool. If you're sitting at the dining room table and you want to watch something, you can just pull it out and pivot it, turn it however you want. It's just a nice little feature to have. Put her back in there. Another nice feature is your um, fireplace, LED fireplace, 5,000 BTU. So if you want to heat it up one of those cool August nights, or there's no cool August nights really, how about a cool October night? We'll go with that. A cool October night, you don't need your propane to use that. That is just with the electricity that you're plugged into your trailer site so you can make this place nice and toasty. 
huge three, trifold sofa that you can pull out if you want the occasional guest. If you don't want the occasional that guest, it doesn't fold out. So it's just that. You can't have anybody sleeping over. So it's perfect. Unless they want to sleep in the reclining chairs, which are super comfortable. The, uh, the table we have over here, I always like to showcase that this thing not only extends, but it flips up so you can throw your cribbage board in there, your cards, or whatever you want to do. The table comes out, makes it nice and longer. There are two additional folding chairs that have the same material as the cushion. This is just to protect it in transit. Actually, that's a good point too, because in transit, I don't know if you can see underneath there, but you can tighten up the tether and it'll hold the chair in place so that when you come back into your trailer after moving it somewhere, the chair isn't on top of the sofa somewhere. I've seen how something I'll drive. Um, another neat feature is storage under the chair. So if somebody's found your stash of special st things underneath the table here, I don't think they'll find it in there. So. I just like to have little hiding spots for stuff because you know on a rainy day you want to pull something out and go hey look at this what else we got here um a light switch for underneath for your lighting here now this is cool too it's a beautiful pantry and it's also got a light that will turn on when you open the door so the door comes out fully don't prove me wrong come on it's right there so an automatic light on the inside of the uh the pantry itself so that's kind of cool to have here is your choice. It can be a hanging closet. There's actually, you can't really see it by looking dead on, but there's a, a, a rail there to hang your clothes up or your jackets and stuff. And if you don't want to use it for that, you have a pull down shelf. So however you want to use this space, or little kitty jackets will go in here still and use the bottom part, but you know, whatever you want to use it for. I like giving the doors a nice hard shut so you can actually hear this actual wood um, made by the Amish. Don't forget about Jayco's warranty. We have twice the warranty that of the competitors. We've got two years on everything in the, in the trailer itself, plus three years on the structural, which is fantastic. Um, we are at Owasco RV on Bowenville, Ontario. We have 14 service days, and we have uh, 41 acres of property for trailers and everything else. Great parts department as well. Alex, if you can step into the bathroom there and take a look. We got... A huge size bathroom, huge shower. I mean, I'm not that tall. I'm about 5'7", and I got tons of space in here. And the, the actual base of the shower, it's, it's supported by plywood and stuff, so it's never gonna yield anymore. It's a nice, strong shower base, and I got tons of space here. I got, my kid's 6'2", and he's not that tall. It's like a foot and a half above my head, so it's a foot anyways. Um, what do we got? Nice lighting in here, there's a whole bunch of switches. We got a blue light in here if you want to leave the light on. So if you have somebody new is um, staying overnight, you can leave the light on. It won't bug anybody, but they'll be able to find their way to where the bathroom is. And coming into the master bedroom, what do we got here? Got a nice size storage area. Holy crap, that's deep. Sorry. Um, take a look at that. That's really deep. Um, king size bed in this one, which is pretty cool. And you have some storage underneath. And there you can see the chairs that I was talking about. They're the fold-out, fold-up chairs for the dining room. Um, what else? That's a, you can see a Serta mattress in here. It's a big king size, nice and thick and plush. A lot of times people buy a trail and they gotta change out the mattress, but with these, you know what I tell people? Try it first. I bet you'll like it and you'll keep it. And most of the times they do, which is pretty awesome. There's a spot for a TV on the wall here as well. It's all right. Um, just heading back to the main part of the unit um, to see what I missed in here, if anything. It's a really comfortable trailer, wouldn't I say? 59.9, 222 bi-weekly. How about weight? It's about 10,130 pounds is the GVWR on this thing, which is pretty cool. And uh, we went through, it's got the king bed, the electric stabilizers, and this one actually has uh, onboard solar on the roof, which is kind of neat. Um, this is another option. It's got the wine guard, um, Wi-Fi connection thing. I mean, up here in, in the States, it's a lot more prevalent, a lot easier to use. Up here, you can actually get, the, you can buy the wine guard SIM card to, to get extended. But what it also does is if you're at a campsite or if you're spot stopped somewhere where there's like Wi-Fi kicking around, you can connect this to it and it'll increase the signal strength 
of the the Wi-Fi that you've got. So if your campsite has Wi-Fi, you can enable that thing to uh, strengthen up for you to get a little bit more. Um, which is pretty cool. I don't know what else I got. This is a great, a great couples trailer. Um, massive size, huge for entertaining. Um, there's really nothing you need in this thing. It's a, it's a beautiful unit. Anyhow, um, once again, Brian from Wasco RV. Uh, thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, please send them our way. Um, we'd love to hear from you. See what you want to talk about next week, and I'll be happy to help you. Have a great day. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next Thursday.